What is happening, duck hunters? Long time no talkie. I realize that's my fault. Um, I've had a lot going on. But today I want to talk about, um, kind of do a little bit of a review on the Lifetime Decoys. Um, I'm going to talk about the Mallards because they're pretty much all the same, but just different species. So, anyway, uh, yeah. You know, I got to thinking while I was making that coffee, and you kind of listen to the sound of the coffee hitting the cup. If you listen to it long enough, it kind of reminds me of what it sounds like when you pee in a urinal. Just, you know, just a four-year-old little boy in me, I can't get out. All right, so here's the deal. First of all, the audio may suck. If it does, I'm gonna try to fix it, I apologize. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, talking about these Lifetime Decoys company out of, that's a hen, Mallard, Drake, Mallard, I brought the two genders, <laughs> animals can figure it out but we humans can't, couple things, one, uh, the reason I got these, I mean these decoys were, um, are super light, so let's talk about that first, um, imagine, um, well first of all they're made out of EVA foam, EVA foam. You would see EVA foam on fishing poles, into fishing poles. Um, I actually cut this little strip, strip off a piece of workout equipment. So um, this is an idea of EVA foam. These things are made out of that. That's why they're basically virtually indestructible. As far as like if you run them over, um, they kind of pop back up. Um, and I kind of want to talk about what I liked and, and maybe some things I would do differently. Um, so they... Um, they look pretty realistic. Um, I'm probably a little different than some people um, as far as decoy realism. I feel like these are very realistic looking, um, but if a duck gets close enough to feel like they're not realistic looking, um, he's going to have other issues that he needs to worry about besides the realism of the decoys. Um, I think Dakota decoys are by far the most realistic looking. Um, of the ones I've hunted over, but they're also super heavy. These are not. So I was really excited to take these to North Dakota um, last year. Um, this year I flew up and couldn't take anything, but last year we did it ourselves, drove up, and these things were awesome. Now, a couple things. Um, I'm running the lifetime weighted lines on them. When you're hauling a dozen of them or multiple dozens, these decoys are really light, but this cable is very strong and it's kind of heavy. Um, so when you have a bunch of them, the decoys are really light, but when you run it with their lines, it's kind of offsetting that a little bit. Now, still way lighter than other decoy brands, in my opinion. Um, the other thing is, is they come with a, a spot right here where you can run weights in them. I did not run the weights in there because, again, that's added weight. I didn't want to do that. So in some instances, when I threw them out in the water, they would not flip back over. Um, now, they, they get water in them, um, but they have this hole here so that when you pick them up, the water runs out. I would recommend, um, if you're going to do that, so I'm thinking public land, something really light, gonna walk in. If it's not deep water, say you're hunting timber or something, you can just kind of flip kind of toss them out and then you'll have to go flip them over um, but if you just go take them and place them like you're not in a big hurry take them and place them they're fine I also tend to when it gets really cold on these flocked heads um, I take decoys and place them anyway because I don't wa want water to get on them and then freeze and then it makes it look not as realistic so I, I tend to place place the decoys anyway um, whenever I'm actually the one putting them out <laughs> Most of the time I have a camera, so I'm not doing a whole lot of decoy tech running these days. But, I'm cool with that too. They are very light. These, these weight systems are awesome. Um, super duper sturdy. If you ever get them caught up in a trolling motor, I feel bad for the trolling motor. Um, not necessarily that you would use these for the trolling motor, but Lifetime also makes a jerk string rig that is made out of this coated cable. It, I, it's, it, it weighs a good bit, but it is by far the best jerk string um, I've seen. So, um, 
I have one of those, but I'm not going to go find it. Um, anyway, you guys can check them out. And if you want me to talk about the jerk string rig, I'm happy to. Um, just let me know in the comments below. So, that is kind of my take on these decoys. A um, couple things. One, great for public land because they're pretty light. Throw a couple of them in your sled and get to trekking. Um, if you don't put the weights in there, just know that they may not flip over when you toss them out. Also, if you're going to run the, the lifetime lines on them, you're reintroducing weight to the decoy. So, though they're super light, um, you're gaining weight with these. So, um, also when you get them, the, the lines, they come with a pretty cool carabiner. Um, these things are super handy. And then also, one other thing you might pick up. Um, at your local retailer or from Lifetime is one of these little things. Now this this goes around the line so you're Texas rigging them, running them on a, on a line like this and you string them all up together you use these little lines to kind of wrap them around the line and that stops them from getting tangled. You wrap it around the top or at least I wrap it around the top by the carabiner you know and then I slide it down and it keeps them real tight stops them from getting as tangled. Um, so, and plus if you drop this little thing, it's got these little floats, it, um, it floats, which is definitely handy because I've dropped it, um, at least a dozen times. So, uh, yeah, this is a, a little cool thing. I didn't really think, like, why would I get that? It's actually been really handy as far as when you've got a lot of gear and you're packing stuff, um, it keeps those decoys kind of as tight as possible. Also with these, um... The flocking seems to be really tough. I have some other decoys that have flock heads that I keep in bags. Um, these seem to be really tough, and I don't know if it's the flocking tends to stick to the um, to this foam as much. I'm not sure. Appreciate you guys watching my video. Um, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. In um, in some of my other videos, I just said I don't really care if you subscribe, but I still don't care if you subscribe, but. Um, some people have said this might be a waste of time. So if you're one of those kind of people that's like, nah, it's not a waste of time. You know, the dude's doing what he wants to do. Go ahead and subscribe. So, yeah. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, hey, that's cool too. Um, see you guys in the next one.